So once your team is inputting activities in each of the offices, under each of the projects, and um, having proper sampling, then you can start building your Power BI. So I should I already shared with you the Power BI we use in Iraq, but I think we should do one from zero from scratch in this uh, webinar. So you go File, New, and you press Get Data. When you open Power BI first, you'll get the option immediately to get data here. So you press that. In this case, we'll get data from an Excel sheet. This is the one you share with the team. And then it asks you to go look for it. What we're doing it here is collect, connecting it to the one in your computer. So the Power BI you're making now um, will only be able to refresh from your computer unless uh, somebody else rewrites uh, this this uh, polygon data, this query. So okay, we open it. It's making a connection. Get a few seconds, and then you see immediately all the uh, tables. If it has a blue line on top, it's a table, and the sheets. A list of a list, which is the list of the locations and uh, activities, and the full sheet where this table is hosted. I'm going to pull directly the, the monitoring activity tracker table itself for South Central. Okay, you can see the data, a preview of it here. Those are the fields we, we looked at before, um, and we load them. Okay, so now the computer is loading the data. It tells me it's one error. That's okay, it's probably a small data entry error. There's no need to view it. Um, it's probably a date that's in the incorrect form or something like that. And then we make the query get data for the other location. We do the same thing, connect, in this case for the west. Oh, we need to close it, I have it open. You can see that immediately the computer renamed it since it's the same table name it gave it a number two in the back so now we have the two data sets you can see the data sets here on the side opening the data sets you can see all the fields that are in those data sets one relevant thing is that we have right now two south and north what we want to do is um, join them in one single data set so you just work with one of the fields for both locations or multiple locations. So to do that, you go to Edit Queries. This will open location to um, change the queries itself. This is the process of pulling data. Don't be scared, it's a bit confusing up here. Um, you can always check the formula bar to see it. And what we're going to do now is append both datasets. To do that, I go to append queries. I'm going to append two tables. It would be three or more. It's a different um, method. It's the same thing in the end. You just put them all together. In this case, I'll just append the, the current one with the number two. And I'll generate a single data set. And we'll call it. Not, not so central, not north, but a single one. You can also append to a new query. In this case, take both. And you can append. In this case, we've already done it, so it's not doesn't make sense. So we're going to close and apply. Now I can hide the. Oops. Now I can hide this and work with the master one. Okay, what is one of the first things we need to do 